What's up everyone, Dirk from the Gothic Hero here, and today I will be talking about my Carfight Vanguard Overdress Set 10 Dragon Masquerade pre-release tournament. Um, I know this is really late, I am recording this on Monday at around 11.44pm, um, I was going back from work, like not, I was got off from work like not too long ago, and I'm talking about it now because um, I didn't really do it on Saturday when I was supposed to do it because I was busy doing other things. Because I finally, if you didn't know, I'm in school and I work a full-time job. So over the last two months, I have been really stressed out by school and just cramming in a bunch of homework in because I've just been trying to pour as much time as I can after work into school. And I've just been really stressed out about it because I don't get much time to do schoolwork, which requires me to spend like 16 plus hours on schoolwork when I don't have, and I have like half of that most, most weeks. So I've been really stressed out, haven't been sleeping much, haven't been eating and taking care of myself. So I've been kind of just, um, just getting, putting out schoolwork and stuff. So I have finally, um, this last week, I have finally have, I passed that class, the class that I was in last month. And I'm in a class where I don't, I'm not as stressed out since I am in a art history class now. So I'm not as, so I don't have to really be stressed out anymore. And I took the last week off from doing schoolwork and come do all my homework yesterday and this morning just so that I can have a week to just kind of take away, get set back from school and just kind of reset life and just fucking myself and things that I want to do, which is why this video is late. Um, over the next like two to three months, I believe I should be in a better place. Since this one, I'm in art history. Next one, I am in a mathematics class. And I think in August, I take another really simple class, which is super, super easy, I think. Well, if I remember correctly. Or that'll be, it's a really simple class either way. But um, I'm going to be less stressed out for the next like three months, just like two to three months. So I should be able to put a lot more energy into videos, be on top of my stuff again, and kind of just enjoy life a little bit more since I won't have the constant struggle of having to cram in homework and life just kind of just screw me over. Also in August, the second week, second or third week of August, I should also be getting my driver's license. Um, the time period, I should be off from work for about that week to get my driver's license, which is another really big thing I am going to have to kind of commit to. So like if I stop making videos in August, that's the reason why I'm trying to get my driver's license. So like, it's a time period in August where I just don't make any videos or like I make one video for like an entire like two weeks. You know why? I'm just trying to get my, my driver's license at that point. So I don't know how that's going to go. Hopefully it should go pretty, pretty smooth as well since I do know how to drive. I just don't have a license. So I shouldn't need to go to class more than once. Um, Like more than like the, no, the one week. But who knows? It should be fine either way though. Excuse me. But yeah, that's how we're here for it. You hear about the um set 10 pre release. And how it went and I would say it went pretty well for the most part. Um I got there at around like I think five o'clock up, I, I believe. Like five five o'clock, five thirty, somewhere on the time period. But uh I was brought there by my parents who aren't actually my parents. They're kinda like really close friends who basically are my parents at this point in time. Because my bike was being, my bike tire had popped on Thursday morning on my way to work. And I thought that I could probably just end up riding it and just pump the tire up every so often. Tear the car shop and back home, but it didn't work. So I uh, I ran to make GameStop, they brought me to the car shop and everything. So I went there, I paid my $20, got my four packs, and I pulled pretty decently. Um, I pulled a new ride line that I wanted to build, just super cool that I'm, um, it's a, I don't know how, it's like a little, um, deck that basically, it's a deck that allows you to stack, stack top, like, cards of your deck and stuff by calling the top of the card, like, kind of like Spyro does, but for your own deck, so your opponent's deck, which is pretty cool, and it's like, gonna be a lot of fun, and it's also really cheap, so it's like, it's not a really big commitment if I don't like the deck. Um, uh, I also did pull some cards that other people wanted, which is super cool, so now I gotta, um, worry about that, and getting those trades done on Friday when I go. Since the prices, excuse me, since the prices did come out today, um, all that stuff should be settled by um, Friday, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, I did pretty well at the packs. Um, 
I think. Do I have my binder with me? No, I don't have my binder with me. It's always over here. I got that costume because of my port in my binder. Since I do have the cards in my binder still. At least, like, I have some cards that I kind of pulled that no one really wanted or traded for in my binder. So, I gotta kind of show you guys those cards. But yeah, here's some of the cards I pulled. Uh, all the spots are basically cards people, people wanted. So, we got like some really cool cards. Like, I really like the artwork of this card up here. It's a little great for this grade three. So, that's really cool. Got that. Got some cards up here as well. And then some of the things. And then like in my personal binder, which is over here, in my Pikachu binder, I got some cards I picked up, which is like the new route line I want to build. It's like star, um, it's like this new like, little star mage deck that like basically like allows you to set the top cards of your deck, which is super cool. Um, I don't, I didn't really know what I wanted from this set since I knew nothing about it. But when I pulled the right line and kind of seen it, I like um noticed that the artwork was really nice and I kind of liked it. I just thought the, I'm gonna kind of just put the cards for them and kind of start building the deck to see what happens. So I felt that they were gonna be like something like either not really good, but like if they can be anything like Galactic Hero where it's just a really fun deck for me to play. I figured that's gonna be like a really just um something really cool. Oh, and also they pulled a frame rare. Which is pretty cool. It's like ten. Um, things cost like worth like ten dollars, like ten or eleven dollars, which is super cool. So I made like half my money back, which is pretty cool. And it's like it's just a really cool card to be honest. That, it's like my this is my first ever framework that I pulled since I uh, it's my I never I don't really open up too much of Carpet Vanguard Overdress. So it's like super cool that I pulled a framework from like my, my first pre-release tournament. Oh, I didn't pull in the Great Three, which kind of sucked. But um, sometimes I only open like four packs, like five packs, so. But I do plan on buying some more boxes at some point on this week, like two boxes to open up on the channel for you guys, and hope that I can pull um some more stuff that I want. Um, another thing I picked up that I still gotta pay for, uh, which I'm paying for on Friday. I picked up a deck that I wanted to build as well. I picked up this deck that I want to build as well. So I still got to pay off the rest of it, but it's not much though. It's kind of it's kind of an expensive deck, but um, I kind of have the funds for it. It's got to kind of just wait till tomorrow when I get paid, pay it off, and then everything's like, um, it's my deck at that point. But this deck is probably the one of the most expensive decks that I'm building. Um, but after this deck is built, I probably won't build another deck for a while. So just because this deck is like super expensive. So it's like, I probably um, want to build this deck. It'll probably be like the last deck that I build for like quite some time. Just because um, I don't really want Vanguard to be like Yu-Gi-Oh! Where I have like a bunch of different decks that I don't play. So I'm trying to like cut down my decks and just play decks that I know for sure that I'm going to build. Or pay for decks that I know for sure I'm going to build and want to play forever. Or at least for a while, like Clown Like Galactic Hero is. But who knows, since I don't have a simulator to play Vanguard on. But if you wonder how the tournament went, um, I went 1 and 2. Um, because they screwed up the... For round 2, I think, they messed up the bracket. So there was a... So we po I probably didn't have to fight my round 2 opponent. Uh, not round 2, my round 3 opponent. I, probably could have, I think I should have probably faced somebody else. But who know, who really knows at this point. Um, my first match was against Maelstrom, and that match was like a brain melter, because we went blow for blow, back and forth on like five damage for like like four or five turns, and we he only won because I had decked out of cards. He on his turn he attacked me and I had nothing to guard with, and I decked out. Like that was like he had like two cards left in deck. He had, like when he started his turn he had three cards. And I had one, and I decked my and I decked out because of it. It was so intense. Like when the game was over, we both basically sat there for like like five minutes, just kind of like wrap our heads around that game. It was like just a back and forth beat down slog fest. It was so good too. It was like so, a, such a fun match. Um, round two, I played against. 
I don't remember the deck. I don't remember what deck it was. But it was. Excuse me. It wasn't like a super hard matchup, but it was like a matchup that I didn't know too well. So I kind of just got by just because I was just get up with the deck, I guess. I don't really know. Kind of skirted by and kind of just won the game outright. Round three. I don't remember my face off either. No. Round three was against, was against um Lukier. I think the name of it. It's like a Pell it's like a Pell Moon deck. I think the name was Lukier. Something, something like that. I don't remember. But um I paid against that and I lost because he kept calling things out of the his soul. And because he kept retiring my rear guards and I couldn't find bases three and four to get me other heroes out of my deck. And that kind of put me in a position where I couldn't do much of anything because I couldn't find my other bases to call up more heroes. So he ended up winning because of that. And because, um, like, mostly just because, like, the deck just wasn't stuck in my favor and I couldn't find my third and fourth base. So if I could find a war base unit, I probably could have been in a lot better position. But since I only had the two, it became a lot harder for me to like kind of do most things with the deck. Especially since I needed another base to kind of get more units out of my deck to hopefully get more triggers. But it just it wasn't the favorite card for me. So I ended up losing. Um, I didn't fight round four because they messed up the bracket and they realized that it was kind of pointless since we already know the top two were. So they just fought and we just um did that from there. But um, I had fun though. Um, I wish I could have did better, obviously, because you know you always want to do better. But I had fun for my first ever um, pre-release tournament. I can't wait for set eleven to drop so I can go to that one, because that one should be fun. Um, what's it? What's this one? Just I don't remember. Uh, excuse me. I thought I thought about going to the Pokemon pre-release they had on Saturday. Um, but I didn't because I had to do schoolwork, which was like, okay, which I didn't mind because I always do school because Saturdays are usually my day to do house chores. So even if I didn't have schoolwork, I couldn't come either because I'd have to do house stuff like clean the house, wash dishes, do laundry, stuff like that. So it's like, even if I could, I probably still wouldn't because Saturdays are my day to kind of just sit at home and do nothing and not go outside like ever. So I don't really go outside on Saturdays, really. Unless to go up to, like, the front office to do laundry since my dryer is still broken. But, um, anyways, like, I had fun, though. And I also completed my Pokedex this weekend, which is kind of cool as well. So that's pretty fun. Um, in case you also, if you watched the video and you're wondering why I haven't done the... Um, what is it called? I haven't done the... Cyberstorm Access um, booster box opening yet. And that's because my bike tire went flat. So I had to fix that. And something, something else came up too I had to pay for. So I kind of put me behind um, schedule. Behind schedule. So it probably won't happen until like July or my birthday. So I'll probably just do, just pull it off until my birthday to do it. And that was like my birthday thing. Just me buying... Um, ordering a booster box and open up packs on my birthday so that'll just be that and hopefully that'll just go well um because that was like having that bike tire pop on me was very unex like not really unexpected but like it kind of did hit at a time where i had a lot of things have planned to do so that knowing that that kind of set me back a little bit and something else came up too so, I am behind schedule on both completing the collection room, since I was supposed to have, um, some more, sh buy some more shelves this, um, this upcoming weekend. But I can't, because the money is going towards other things like groceries and bills. So, I can't buy more shelves for the collection room, because of my bike tire and other, some, some other personal stuff that came up to have to take care of, which sucks. But it's fine. I just keep pushing forward and hopefully that um, nothing else happens for the next like four months. So that way I can just kind of hopefully just have everything settled. Uh, I'm so tired.
but yeah, that's it for the video. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and that's it. So until next time, this is Jackson signing off.